welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today is a challenge style video which i feel like i haven't done in the longest time so i'm really, really excited to film this one if you are new to my channel then hello welcome i hope you decide to stay and if you are returning then welcome back so today i'm back with another challenge style video i feel like i haven't done one of these in the longest time so it was definitely time to bring one back and i've been loving watching at the moment Instagram controls my life for 24 hours. So, that is what I've decided to do today. I'm up bright and early. Well, sort of. It's like 9 o'clock, but as you can see from my baby face, please do excuse that. I'm up. It is the morning, and I just put up the story to let people know that this is the video I'm filming today and to get involved with the polls. So, it is the story that I've put up. So if you ever want to get involved in any other challenges like this, I always ask for questions for like Q&A videos and stuff like that over my Instagram. So if you aren't following me over there, make sure you do. It is at Tasha Glacier and I always link it down below. But without further ado, let's get in with today's video. So I've come downstairs and put up my first poll on my Instagram story. The first one is, what should I have for my morning drink? Now the two options are a cup of tea or orange juice. So if you know me, you know I always start my day with a cup of tea literally can't function without one so I'm really really hoping that the cup of tea is chosen however I do love an orange juice it is pretty refreshing but yeah hopefully the tea is the answer okay so let's see what the votes are for excuse my hair by the way <laughs> what is that bun um let's see the first vote for what drink I should have this morning Okay, so the split between my morning drink is cup of tea at 59%, orange juice 41%, so it's pretty close, but it looks like I'm having my trusty good cup of tea. Thank you, followers. <laughs> After my morning drink, of course, to go along with it, is going to be breakfast. Now, I asked whether I should have a sort of unhealthy breakfast, which would be these pancakes. By the way, these are so good. You literally just put them in the microwave and they taste unreal. You can put whatever you want on them. And to be fair, sometimes I literally just eat them plain. Pretty, really good. Or shall I go for porridge? Now, this is my usual go-to. I mean, it's a healthier option. Obviously, these are still not that healthy. These, um sachets because they still do have a lot of sugar in them as you can see but they're quick they're easy they fill you up and you just feel like you're eating something a little bit healthier now i feel like if i was going to vote for this on someone's story i probably would go for the unhealthy version because you know treat yourselves feel like that's probably what they wouldn't usually have so i'd vote for that so i reckon this is what people are going to go for although i kind of feel like i should eat this this morning but we'll see what you guys say so i've got my cup of tea thankful for this one I feel like you guys are maybe voting for what you usually would have of a morning and I feel like you're all like me. Tea drinkers love a good tea in the morning. So, I'm hungry, I'm ready for breakfast. Let's see what you guys have voted for me to have. The moment of truth for breakfast. Okay, as expected, 89% said pancakes and 11% said porridge. I'm pretty happy with that decision, as I said. Probably wouldn't usually have it, it can be a nice weekend treat. Put that porridge away. <laughs> I'm just gonna do two, I think, microwave them, and then I think I'm gonna have um, some whipped cream and banana on it. gone for the squirty cream banana and two of the little pancakes i'm buzzing for this thanks so much guys for an amazing breakfast that was so so good as a treat so next up it is time to paint this face i need to get ready this morning i have another video to film which is a haul so i need to do my makeup um 
I have asked, shall I do full glam or natural glam? Now, I'm not sure which way this could go. Could go either way and I'm happy either way. I usually do a bit more of a full glam when I know I need to film. But then again, natural glam is my go-to when I'm feeling that little bit more lazy. It's quicker, easier. So in a way, I'm kind of hoping for that one. But we will see. So, wow. Full glam has been chosen. So it is 67% said full glam. 33% said natural glam. So full glam it is. Let's get ready. glam makeup is on i went for a sort of smoky eye uh smoked it a little bit underneath a classic nude lip with a gloss on top just to add that extra glam went in with that highlight i'm liking it actually i'm happy that you went for the, the uh full glam i haven't done like a little bit of eyeshadow in a hot minute i was gonna go for um glitter actually but you know just need to speed things up a little bit so i decided to just go for a smoky eye look and i'm feeling it so next story i have asked is how should i have my hair should i straighten it or should i curl it so i'm gonna see what you guys think and whilst that story is up and you guys are deciding i'm gonna pick out two different outfits probably one comfy one sort of more like jeans and a cute top and we'll see what you guys pick Loki, i hope you pick the comfy one though I feel like you guys probably know me and know I want to go for comfy and we'll probably choose not comfy but fingers crossed so I've chosen out two different outfit options I went for one comfy and one cute now my comfy is my all-in-one misguided jumpsuit this is so super comfy because as I said it's an all-in-one you only have to pop that on you're just so easy to lounge around in there then my other option is fire leather leggings from Topshop with my high neck Azara bodysuit in black now. I don't mind either way. I mean, you know, I really want to go for comfy as I'm just lounging around today. But to be fair, my, my Topshop faux leather leggings, because they are leggings, they aren't too bad to chill in. Um, so I don't mind too much as this is a really cute outfit and I do love this bodysuit and it would be quite nice to film in this I suppose So yeah, I mean not mad either way, but we'll see what you guys go for Okay, moment of truth to see what you guys picked for my hair. It's time to do my hair. So Oh, it's so so close, but How should I have my hair today? 46% said straight and 54% have said curly so Let's curl this mane. So my hair is now curled, looking nice and curly. Actually so happy with the curly hair, you know. Doodles aren't really feeling straight today, so I'm happy you guys chose for the curly look. So now time to get dressed. It's time to see what you guys want me to wear, whether you want me to go comfy or cute. Like I said, I'm not too bothered either way, but I'm kind of ready to just kind of lounge in something. So have a look. Hey, so 58% of you chose comfy and 42% said cute. So comfy is, I'm excited to get into my little comfy jumpsuit and chill in that today. Thank you guys so much again for your great choices today. <laughs> feel like you guys even know me so well and know I love a comfy outfit and really helping me out today or maybe you guys love a good comfy outfit too. So either way, I'm pretty happy. Here is my OOTD. So this all-in-one jumpsuit is from Misguided, by the way, if you guys were wondering. I love it so, so much. It's so comfy. It looks really cute with this corset detailing. I posted an Instagram photo in this and I had a lot of questions about it. So I thought I'd let you guys know the details. I think it was about £34, but you know, Misguided always have some kind of discount going on. So definitely going to be super comfy today, though, chilling in this. So I'm just popping out into town, still in my cozy jumpsuit, don't worry, wearing this out. But as I'm going out, I thought I would ask you guys what I should have in town, whether I should get a Costa or a Starbucks. So we'll see which one you guys want me to get. I'm sure you'll go for what you guys prefer. We'll be good either way. But yeah, 
Costa or Starbucks? So you guys chose Costa, 50% of you chose it, so I've gone for a hot chocolate and also a chicken pizza wrap as well for that for my lunch, but yeah, definitely a good choice, it was really close though, but I like a good Costa. home back chilling in bed excuse the like raindrops all over me storm dennis is in full swing it is windy it is raining hence the fact my curls have fully dropped out yeah so my curls from this morning gone in the wind but i've just got back and i've literally hardly done anything today but i'm so tired feel shattered all i want to do is chill but i'm gonna ask you guys should i chill in bed and watch netflix or should i be productive and edit a video so we'll see what you guys think so this was clearly not a hard one for everyone 75 percent of you said watch netflix and chill out and put on a film so i'm so grateful for this one because i'm feeling so tired as much as i really need to edit and should be productive I'm definitely excited to just chill out and watch a film and also this week the new um all the boys i've ever loved before it's a netflix original film and they've just brought out the second film so i really loved the first one so i'm really excited to watch the second one so i think that's what i'm gonna put on now and chill out and watch a little bit of netflix <laughs> I've just been sitting and watching the film, loving it so much, so nice to just chill out. By the way, I've thrown my hair up, I hope it doesn't matter, because I know you're all very curly, but you know, it kind of dropped out and I'm chilling now, so the hair's up. Anyways, I've just put on my story, should I get my nails done? My sister does shellac slash gel nails, and I love when she does them, I haven't had them done in ages, and they're looking prettier not nice i feel better when i have my nails done i want to treat myself and have them done so i put shall i have them done by her yes or no so we will see what you guys vote so we are back to the point again where let's see what you guys have voted for should i get my nails done or not get up instagram click through my stories quite a few now Ah, so 90% of you voted yes, 10% said no, so it looks like a lot of people will want me to get my nails done. So, let's go up, let's go and have my nails done. So, as any girl probably knows, choosing your nail colour is like the hardest decision, so this one I was actually quite grateful for. Um, but the two that I chose out was a pink, which is like my usual like comfort zone go-to, and then kind of like the opposite end of the spectrum, so a black. And to be honest, I thought a lot of people were going to go for like out of my comfort zone and choose black for me, but turns out 68% of you chose to go for the pink, so that is what I'm going to go for. I've also now just put up a story saying, should I add gems or not? Add a bit of sparkle. Again, this isn't really something I would usually do so we'll see if people want to add some sparkle to the nails but yeah i'm excited to get them done
So 87% of you voted for gems, so I've got the baby pink nails with gems on. Hannah decided the like pattern of the gems, but I'm actually obsessed with them. They've already get gems and I'm glad that I did because I really like the finished look of the nails. They look really pretty, so thank you to Hannah's Pretty Fix for doing my nails. But I will definitely leave her website link and the Instagram down below, just in case any of you are in the West Sussex area and also want to get your nails done. They're really good if you just want like gels on your natural nails, if you're like not filling the acrylics, but yeah. I love getting my nails done like this, so I'll leave it linked down below. So I've just come around Marcus's for the evening, just gonna chill out around here, and I've brought around the dinner, so we're having stir fry, and I've put on my story who's gonna be making it, either me or Marcus. Now, I kind of feel like, I hope people actually vote for me because I feel a little bad because he's been at work all day, so I'm sure he doesn't really wanna make the dinner, and I feel like I should be making it, but we'll see what people vote for, and then either one of us will be making the dinner. I'm pretty hungry, so I haven't actually left this story up for too long, but click on it right now. 83% of you have said that you want me to cook, so looks like I'm doing it. Secretly kind of wanted Marcus to do it, although I know he really didn't want to, so let's go down and get cooking. <laughs> into my little jumpsuit and now it's time to do the face mask so so 62% of you chose for me to do the clay mask over the sheet mask so I'm pretty happy about that because this is a really nice mask actually and then I can save the sheet mask but this one is a glow mask that brightens and exfoliates I actually love this one from L'Oreal pretty sure it's quite affordable as well so I'm just gonna pop that on for my little self-care evening and then I have one more poll that I've just put up which is should I have a cup of tea or hot chocolate as my evening hot drink and then that is it for the 24 hours of Instagram controlling my day <music> mask on this mask actually really makes me laugh because it kind of just looks like a bad fake tan gone wrong <laughs> looks like i've just gone really orange on my foundation or a fake tan but um it's actually a really good mask so i'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes before washing it off last thing to finish off my evening as i said i'm gonna be having a hot drink excuse what i look like now by the way all the makeup is off the face mask is off skin's feeling super smooth but 67% of you said I should have a hot chocolate, which I'm pretty happy about. I did have my tea this morning, so I was lucky to get you guys to let me to have a tea this morning. So, so feeling very lucky that you guys have chosen me to have a hot chocolate tonight. So that'll be a really, really nice way to finish my evening. So I'm really happy with that. <music> The next morning after my 24 hours of my Instagram followers controlling my day. This has literally been one of my favourite videos to film and upload. So I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Thank you so much to everyone who got involved yesterday over on my Instagram stories. Helping vote on the polls and control how my day went. I feel like most of the decisions that were made from the Instagram polls were ones that went in my favour in a way. I had a really nice breakfast you guys chose a nice look for me for the day i got my nails done i got to chill out and have a nice pamper evening so yeah overall it was a really good 24 hours i really enjoyed doing the video like i said in the intro if you do want to get involved in any other videos like this be sure to follow me over on my instagram which is at tash glacier and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this different kind of 24 hour challenge so if you did enjoy it please do give the video a big thumbs up as that really helps my channel and would mean so much to me the support always means the world and also come subscribe if you don't already i would love that so so much come and join my little growing family here on youtube ready for more exciting content to come and again it's a huge thank you from me i can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video bye